In this Excel video, I will show you how to trick out your Excel Quick Access Toolbar by putting on it the best hidden features in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. So here I'm working in a spreadsheet for an office supply company. And of course, I can continue to find the features that I need for the most part by just looking at the tabs and the ribbon and from time to time maybe going into the groups and using these dialog box launcher buttons to get even more options and features. And that's fine. But as you can tell, sometimes it takes multiple clicks to find the right tool, the right option that you want to select. Why not customize this quick access toolbar so that you can access those tools that you use the most and that are some of the best Excel features. And you can use them just by clicking a button. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this area of Excel for the entire video, pretty much. And it's going to help me supercharge my Excel spreadsheets. The first thing you need to know is how to customize this quick access toolbar. Basically, you just click this button here, customize quick access toolbar, you can also just right click on the quick access toolbar to get an option to customize it. But I'll just click this button here and immediately I get a list of commonly added tools that people like to add to the quick access toolbar. One of the best tools that most people add is this, new. So anytime you need a new workbook in Excel, you can just click this button and you get a brand new workbook. I'm going to X out of that workbook to switch back to my original workbook. So what other tools do I recommend adding to the Quick Access Toolbar? Of course, we already have the Quick Save button, and we have an Undo button and a Redo button. And notice that those Undo and Redo buttons have a little drop-down arrow button just to the side of them. As you make changes in your spreadsheet, notice what happens to that drop-down button. When you click on it, it shows you each change that you've recently made, and you can quickly undo three or four or five or more actions all at once. So I'm gonna undo all the way back to this point here. But in addition to those few tools that we already have, and also this new workbook button that I just added, the next tool that I'm gonna add to my quick access toolbar is called Paste Special. Now I don't see Paste Special in this list here. So in order to get it, I have to go here to More Commands, and then I can come up here to this drop-down list, and it says Popular Commands, but I'll click on that and switch to All Commands. And then I'll just browse down alphabetically to Paste. There are several different Paste options. I'm just gonna go with Paste Special. I'll click Add, and now Paste Special will become part of my Quick Access Toolbar. I click OK, and there it is, Paste Special. So now, whenever I copy something, maybe this range of text here, Control c to copy, when I go to paste it, I can simply click on the Quick Access Toolbar, Paste Special, and then it brings up all of the many different options I have for pasting my data. I can paste only the formulas, or only the values, only the formats, whatever it might be. I'm gonna paste only the formats, and it looks like it worked. So Paste Special, I think, is a valuable tool to add to the Quick Access Toolbar. Another powerful tool to consider adding to the Quick Access Toolbar is the Select Objects tool. Let's look for it here by clicking on the Quick Access Toolbar Customize button. I don't see it in the common list, so I'm gonna go to More Commands, All Commands. I'll browse down to look for Select Objects. There it is. I'll click Add, click OK. And in order to show you how this works, I'm going to first insert a couple of different shapes into my workbook. So there we have an oval or a circle. How about a triangle and a rectangle? Now let's say I decide I want to change some feature or aspect of the formatting of these three shapes. How could I do that all at once? There's a couple of ways I could do that, but one would be to go up here and click on the Select Objects button. Now before I do that, look at my mouse pointer. See what it looks like. It looks like a plus sign. But if I go up here and click, it changes to just be an arrow. Now that I have the Select Objects tool chosen, I can click and drag to select multiple objects. Now all three are selected, and I can easily go up here to Shape Format and make adjustments to all three objects at the same time. 
So this select objects tool is helpful whenever you want to select more than one item and then move them all at once or change the font of all of them at once or the color or delete all of them at the same time. That's a handy tool to have on the quick access toolbar. This next recommended hidden and powerful tool in Microsoft Excel that I recommend putting on the Quick Access Toolbar will be perfect for many of you. Others may not use it quite as much, but I think it's worth sharing, and that is the Copy as Picture tool. I'm going to click here on the Customize Quick Access Toolbar button. I'll go to More Commands. And this time I'm going to go from Popular Commands to Commands Not in the Ribbon. I could also just go to All Commands. And then I'll browse down and look for Copy as Picture tool. There it is, Copy as Picture. I click to add it, click OK. Now you may notice that there is a downside to using the Copy as Picture tool. Notice that there's not a special icon for it, so Excel just puts in this odd looking circle. And it's the same circle as Paste Special. So once you get your Quick Access Toolbar set up, you may want to separate the two of these so that you, in your mind, can remember which one does what. But the idea here is that you can click and drag to select a range. Before I do that, I need to unselect this Select Objects tool. Now that I've done that, I can click and drag to select a range. And then I can just go up here and click the Copy as Picture button. I can make some choices about the picture's appearance and format. I'll just click OK. So now I copied that range, not as a range of data, but as a picture. So now I can paste that picture, and there it is. So now I have a picture of some of my data, and I can move this, I can resize it, just like any other picture in my spreadsheet. Okay, let's move on to our next hidden, powerful tool to consider adding to your Quick Access Toolbar, and that is the Close All button. I'm just gonna click here to customize my Quick Access Toolbar, I'm going to go down here and choose More Commands, and I'm going to switch from Popular Commands to All Commands, and browse down, looking for Close All. There it is. I can click on it and add it to my Quick Access Toolbar, click OK. So now, let's say I end up opening multiple spreadsheets, multiple workbooks, and maybe I make some changes to some of them, but not others, but I end up with multiple workbooks open, cluttering up my desktop. At the end of the day, I may just want to close all of these all at once rather than clicking seven times to close all of them. So I could just click up here on the Close All button. I'm going to get some warnings if I haven't saved my workbooks. So now that I've saved the unsaved workbooks, all of the workbooks now have closed and I just have a shell here of Microsoft Excel. And of course, I could easily click this button here to close out of Excel itself. The next powerful hidden tool that we're going to add to the Quick Access Toolbar is View Grid Lines. So I'm going to click on More Commands. I'll go back up here and change it to All Commands, and I'll look for View Grid Lines. Let's see if we can find it. There it is, View Grid Lines. I'll click to add it to the Quick Access Toolbar, click OK, and let's test this out. So now that I've added this View Grid Lines button to the Quick Access Toolbar, if the grid lines that you see in Excel bother me, I can just at any point click that button to hide them. Some people love this cleaner look in Microsoft Excel. Honestly, for me, the grid lines don't bother me, but there are times when I want to hide them. So this is a handy tool to add to the Quick Access Toolbar. And the final hidden powerful tool that I'd recommend adding to the Quick Access Toolbar, especially if you use a lot of text rather than numbers in your spreadsheets, is Spell Check. So I'm going to go here to All Commands, and I'll browse down and look for Spell Check. There it is, Spelling. I'll click Add, click OK. Now anytime I need a spell check, I can just click that button and begin to spell check. Now I hope that you'll take the time to look at the other commands in Microsoft Excel that you can add to the Quick Access Toolbar because I've only just grazed the surface of what's available here. Each of these tools in this giant list could be added to your Quick Access Toolbar and some of these tools will be more important to you and more useful to you than they are for me, so definitely check it out. Also, once you've got your Quick Access Bar with all of the tools that you need and want Quick Access to, like I mentioned before, it may be a good idea to separate some of these tools, put them in the order that makes the most sense for you, and you can do that just by selecting them here at the right and then using these arrows to put them in the right order for you. And then just click OK. 
Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button. You can also support me through my Patreon account and by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video.